you know, technically, from my understanding, until Christine is physical with another man, she's not divorced. Am, am I the only one that thought this gives Christine a great excuse to go have a dalliance with some strange man? Talk about an easy way to get out of a marriage. I have a lot to talk about. This was a very significant episode. I want to discuss the kids, Truly and Isabel, Mary, who I feel terrible for, Robin, who, who's, who's nuts, and Cody, who continues to be a narcissist. So, so with the kids, Isabel and Truly, in this episode, Christine, Truly, and Isabel drove out to the East Coast to drop off Isabel for college. And it was the first time that TLC sort of dove deep into Isabel's kind of experience with the divorce and the relationship that she has with Christine. The relationship seems good, but I would almost describe it as feeling a little bit enmeshed. I thought it was interesting when she said, hey, I don't want to see you until Christmas. Hey, I need my space. If you come back, I want to go with you. She's trying to message to Christine that she's tired of the sadness. She's tired of experiencing her mom's pain, and she's tired of being a support system for her mom, which is a super normal position to have. I, it just reminded me of just the trauma that comes with a divorce. No matter how good your relationship is with your kids, no, how, no matter how diligent you are about trying to protect them, your kids experience it, and your kids want to be there for you. And as a parent that has a close relationship, it's really difficult not to let that bleed out into your children. And I think this is a picture of, of Isabel, a young woman who's saying, hey, I need, I need distance and space from that. And I think it's great that Christine recognizes that and is going to give her that space. And like anything, it impacts the kids differently. So Truly doesn't need the distance. She needs to feel supported by both Cody and Christine, which is why it made me crazy to learn that when, when it was filmed, she had been home for like two weeks and Cody hadn't come over to see Truly. And Cody's explanation for it is, well, I really don't like Christine. And it's like, welcome to the real world, buddy. When people get divorced, they don't want to be around each other, but they still make the kids the priority. I, I don't understand how he rationalizes in his mind, I have a daughter here, I haven't seen her in two weeks, but that's okay because I don't like her mom. It's, a, it's just a crazy... And throughout the episode, he complains about how bad his wives are to him. And that's the reason why he doesn't have a good relationship with the kids. He just rejects any personal responsibility in such a significant way. I, I have a hard time understanding why he can't see it or why he doesn't adjust his behavior. It's, it's beyond me. And that brings us to Mary, who I feel so bad for. It's, it's interesting. In earlier seasons... When I saw Mary, I always thought she was miserable and unhappy, and I, I sort of didn't find her to be an interesting character because she was always dissatisfied. And in this season, I feel like I've gotten a much better picture of what's going on for, with her, and, and I understand why she's so dissatisfied. Cody is horrific to her. In this episode, you learn about her best friend, and she says, I like this woman because she, she puts me first, and it's nice once in my life to feel like I am first, right? My mom passed away, and she, even though she lived far away, came to support me. She didn't care about COVID. She didn't care about the travel time. She didn't care about her own life. She wanted to support me, and she made it happen, which is, which is so different than how Cody responded to it. Cody couldn't be bothered. And then later in the episode, Cody is talking about his relationship with Christine, and he's saying, I'm so frustrated because Christine left me kind of out of nowhere. I don't know why it's out of nowhere for him, but, but in his mind, it was out of nowhere and he feels rejected and so he's pained by the rejection. Not by the loss of his wife. He's pained by the rejection. Whatever. But he says, I wouldn't care if Mary left me because Mary and I don't have a functional relationship. We're never going to have a functional relationship. I can't possibly trust her. I'm done with her. And it's like, for how many years are you going to put this woman through this, relate, this hell of living with you, of being your spouse, when you're unwilling to put any effort into regaining a healthy relationship with her? And then it's smash cut to, to Mary saying, I'm not pining over him, but I am waiting here. I'm waiting here for him to put effort into the relationship. And, and, I, and I can't figure out what's going on with Mary. I can't figure out if she lacks the self-esteem to leave him. I can't tell if she feels so connected to the family that she doesn't want to leave him, or it's possible 
that she really does love him and is and is just waiting for him to come back to her. I don't know what's going on, but I can just tell you that that if she were my friend, if 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 I were working with her, I would be urging her to get the hell out of that marriage, to get the hell out of that family. It doesn't feel healthy in any way for her. And then you've got and then you've got Robin, who was a little bit nuts in this episode. So the first thing is Christine's telling all the sister wives, look, I'm leaving the family, I'm leaving next week. And Robin gets upset. And Robin's first step in in engaging with Christine is to invalidate Christine's experience of the relationship with Cody. Right? So this whole season we've talked about how terrible Cody is. And then now Robin is saying, essentially, it wasn't that bad. You had a better relationship with him. You guys can't possibly have had that much friction because you don't talk. It was just this weird line of thinking. You guys never communicate, so you can't possibly have had such a terrible relationship. It, it, right? She's, she's denying what, what Christine is saying she is feeling. That's the first attack. And then the second attack is to attack Christine for having said that Cody had a crappy relationship with everybody except for Robin, which Christine never said. Robin just placed that on Christine. And she later acknowledged that Christine never said it. Robin just made it up. It is clear that Robin has heard so much, whether it's from social media, whether it's from the sister wives, whether it's her own personal guilt. Robin has in her mind that she's the favorite. Robin has in her mind that all the other wives have terrible relationships. So in this moment, when she's lashing out at Christine, she's accusing Christine of naming that very clear reality. And it's interesting, Christine's going, no, I didn't say that. Although everybody there knows it's the truth. It's just a really weird dynamic, and it's clear that they don't have a functioning relationship, which I think also makes it easier for Christine to leave. I don't think she feels like she's leaving a strong connection with Cody or her sister wives, except for Janelle. Then you have Cody, who in this episode was very Cody. He was narcissistic, he was angry, he was sad, he was exasperated, he... He was all those things. And I don't begrudge him the anger and the sadness. I think that's normal if your wife leaves you. What was odd to me was the surprise he experienced at the idea that Christine was leaving. Christine has been super clear with the whole family that she wants a divorce and she's moving to Salt Lake City. I don't understand why it's a big surprise to everybody that she's moving out now. And his his sort of position of... I didn't even know we were divorced yet, is a crazy one to take. He's frustrated because he has worked so hard to represent the sister wife's brand. He's worked so hard over the last 12 years to legitimize polygamy, his family. And he feels like Christine is destroying it. And so he's accusing his wives in this episode, he's accusing his wives of destroying everything he's worked for. And again, it's such a distorted way of viewing the world. Like the fact that he can't recognize that it's his treatment of these wives that is delegitimizing his family. He's the one. He's treating Mary like shit. That delegitimizes the relationship with Mary. You haven't been romantic with Christine in 10 years. That delegitimizes the relationship with Christine. You're playing favorites with Robin. That delegitimizes the relationship with your other sister. Cody, you are doing this. Wake up. The idea that you turn around and blame the sister wives who don't want to be married to you anymore is insane. I don't know. The drama continues. Crazy episode. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for listening.